What is up everybody? It's your boy Briggs. I want to apologize about the hiatus, but I am finally back and in today's video I will be covering every main protagonist in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Well, up until part 5 because I don't want to spoil myself or you guys. So I will be covering Jonathan Joestar, Joseph Joestar, Jotaro Kujo, Josuke Higarashi Kata, oh, I just butchered the hell out of that name, and Giorno Giovanna. And I will be sure to end the video with a nice little Briggs cue, so make sure you stay until the very end. End. Before I begin, today's video is sponsored by Amino Apps. Amino is filled with millions of different communities for every interest on the planet. It's the best app for us passionate anime fans. And the JoJo community is one of my new favorites. I really like taking quizzes to test my knowledge. It's also got fun polls. Who do you guys think is best boy? But regardless of who you thought it was, it was me, Dio. I also love checking out the cool fan art people post on here. Jojo fan art is best fan art. And I've honestly barely scratched the surface of all the stuff you can do on the app. From public chat rooms to talk about the latest episode or to roleplay your favorite character. Jojo Amino is the best place for us passionate anime fans. Be sure to follow me Briggs ADA on the app. Let's do a fun little contest. The first person to guess my favorite Jojo main character and post his name on my profile wins a special thank you shout out at the start of my next video and a follow back on the app. I'll probably drop some hints throughout the video. Be sure to pay attention. Good luck guys. Remember to follow me Briggs ADA on the app and click the link below to download the free app available for both Android and iOS in order to participate in the contest. But anyway guys, without any more delay, let's jump right into the video. Starting off with Jonathan Joestar from part 1, who is an honest, well-mannered British gentleman. At this point in the series, stands weren't a thing, but the main ability possessed by Jojo was Ripple, or Hamon if you watch the dub. The Ripple is an energy identical to the sun's rays, which the human body can produce through controlled breathing. Due to its identical nature to the positive energy of the sun, the ripple's primary uses are to heal various wounds or ailments and combat creatures such as vampires or zombies. The ripple can also affect non-living things. An object charged with ripple energy will have one or several attributes enhanced by the energy, making it a more effective tool or weapon. Liquids conduct the ripple especially well, and the user's ripple shows on liquids as actual ripples. It is mentioned by Joseph that objects covered in oil can conduct ripple much easier. However, while all materials can conduct ripple more or less well, inorganic materials such as metal cannot store the energy, which it will simply pass through. Anybody can technically produce the ripple. However, Antonio Zeppeli explains that only 1 in 10,000 has the ability to be a ripple user in practice. In effect, only a few people have the willpower and therefore the discipline to breathe correctly, such as people who have lived through great tragedies and yet have kept their fortitude like Jonathan Joestar. However, the ability to use Ripple is also a talent granted to people whose ancestors were once Ripple users. Thus, Joseph Joestar had a natural affinity for Ripple, which is a good segue into the legend himself, Joseph Joestar, and his stand, Hermit Purple. Joseph's stand, Hermit Purple, manifests itself as a tangle of thorny vines, which Joseph can wield as both a weapon and a hazardous defense. Furthermore, it has been shown to conduct the ripple, which makes Hermit Purple one of the more effective stands against vampires. I would have really liked to see that in action, kind of annoys me that they neglect the ripple after part 2. One of its special abilities, shared with the world though, is to use cameras, televisions, and other electronics to perform a form of fortune telling referred to as spirit photography. Hermit Purple is also shown as being able to connect to electronics. Joseph can then check the electronics for tampering or even control them, such as changing a TV's channel. Next up is Jotaro Kujo and his stand, one of the strongest stands in the series Star Platinum, which possesses superhuman senses, strength, stamina, accuracy, and speed. Like other physically powered or close range stands, Star Platinum suffers from a narrow range of activity, active only within a 2-3 meter radius from Jotaro. It is similar to Dio's The World though. As it turns out, it can also stop time, an ability revealed at the very end of his fight with Dio. Next up is Josuke and his stand Crazy Diamond, which can restore objects and organisms to a previous state in their history. It is able to repair damage and heal injury. It can also revert an item to its original components, for example a wooden table into lumber. With this, Crazy Diamond may perform a range of interesting feats, including trapping an enemy by restoring pieces of a broken object around it, along with tracking by restoring a torn piece of clothing which seeks to reattach itself. However, this stand is not without limits. Crazy Diamond can only restore state, not life. 
hence a lifeless body would still remain dead even after being fixed. Also, the healing power cannot be used on Josuke himself or strictly speaking, anything that can be considered a part of his current self, body, or even his clothes. And the last Jojo we will be covering today, Giorno Giovanna and his stand Gold Experience, which is one of the most versatile stands in the series. It has the ability to create and manipulate life, which Giorno most often uses to produce plants and small animals. As a short range power type, it is also capable of unleashing a rapid barrage of punches, which Giorno uses almost exclusively with lethal intent. Now, there really is a lot more to his stand than just that, but I don't want to spoil anything for part 5, because I know a lot of you guys are anime onlys, so I'll just leave you with that little bit of a teaser. But on that note, let's jump into the Briggs Q. It has been a while, guys, but your boy's back with another Briggs Q, YouTube's favorite Q&A series, if you didn't already know. So yeah, let's jump into the first question by SafeWolf, who's your favorite JoJo character? Now... I can't exactly answer that, my apologies, what are Briggs Q? First question, can't answer it. But there's a good reason, it's because there's a contest with Amino. Go to my profile and guess, who do you think it is? Could be Jotaro, could be Joseph, could be the OG Jonathan. Next question by Jordan aka The Anime Dude. Who's your favorite character from Naruto? We all know you and Too Spooky love Sasuke. Man, spot on, Sasuke the best character. Kill me now. So, who, what's your favorite character from Attack on Titan? Let me think. Uh, none of them, actually. Yeah, they all suck. And to answer your Naruto question, Shikamaru. Next question by Harry. It's a good little segue, not gonna lie. Is Deku not the worst MCs out there? Main character out there. If not, which is your pick and what scale, scale he rates? Thank you already. Um, I wouldn't say Deku's the worst. He's alright, he's average. You wanna know who is the worst? Um, Sasuke, even though it's not a main character. Let me think of an actual main character. Shiro Emiya. He sucks. Who else sucks? Kirito's not the best. I'd say Shiro, Shiro Emiya from Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, and all that stuff is probably the worst main character I've ever seen. Yeah. Jonas, first of all, how do you feel about your Discord being dead? And have you thought about reviving it? Second question, when do I get mod? He he he. The real second question, how are you doing? Is everything okay? Everything's all right. Thank you for asking. Um, I just needed a little bit of a hiatus from the YouTubes and Discord. I took a step back, been focusing on school and other stuff, but your boy is back. And uh, yeah, hopefully a lot more videos to come. Sometimes you just need, a, you need to take a little step back and take a break. Doing the same thing over and over again does get repetitive and it's nice to have a good change of pace. That's why I was doing a lot of meme related videos for a while. But the memes aren't gone, and neither are the explained videos. I'll be doing both. Rico Nico asks, why is Shokugeki no Soma better than Yayo Yayo Peace, aka One Piece? It's not. It's actually really, really good. I do enjoy Food Wars. Um, I read it week by week, but not better than One Piece. Not even close. But I do recommend it to anyone who hasn't seen it. Um, Big Daddy, what's your opinion on Reincarnated as a Slime and Goblin Slayer? They're both average. Um, not bad, not good. Kind of too early to tell. Um, the slime one intrigues me. And the Goblin Slayer one is a lot of bullshit going on in the community about it. But I think it really had an impact, like an impacting f first episode, which is why there's been a lot of bullshit in the community. Uh, but we have to see where it goes from there, right? They can't just do that every episode. The characters need some development. They seem a little bit bland and generic. But it's too early to tell. Um, yeah. And the slime one... I don't know, this seems like an average series. I've watched the first two episodes of it, it's alright. Um, I think that's... Oh, one more question by Kaiser. Here's the questions. I want to ask, have you read Kingdom Manga and Vinland Saga Manga? Vegabond man Manga? No, but I've heard they're all great and I do want to start reading... I think it was Beg Vegabond I want to read next. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm slacking in my manga department. I say manga and manga differently every single time. I know you guys are triggered, but oh well. But anyway guys, just like that, I will see you all next time. Shinpaku!